Hello everyone, I'm Jia. Today we are making round cabbage kimchi. Maybe most of you are familiar with Napa cabbage kimchi. The Napa cabbage kimchi is considered winter kimchi here in Korea and normally it's fermented kimchi. Today's kimchi is more like a salad, very fresh and crunchy and also easy to make. See how big it is? We're gonna use half of this. So I'm going to split this in half. Wow, it's fresh and nice. So let's use this part. Cut them bite sizes. Let's wash them. Try to separate, sweep the leaves like this. So we're gonna drain for about 10 minutes. The cabbage has been washed, well rinsed and drained. Now I'm going to brine the cabbage to give more crunchy texture and to remove the moist water from the cabbage. For half uh, cabbage, I'm using half cup of coarse salt. So if this is all together like this, split them. And pour about two cups of water the bowl to dissolve the salt and to help the brining process. I'm going to brine for about an hour or so to help the brining process and to give crunchier texture. I recommend to use something heavy, heavy pot. So I'm going to put this on the top like this. 30 minutes later, I'm going to mix them all and then put this uh, on the top again. In the meantime, I'm going to mix the flour. This is all-purpose flour, one tablespoon, and I have a cup of cold water. Pour this to the small pot and bring to a boil. So we want this kind of consistency. It's gonna take another few minutes. Keep stirring, otherwise it's not gonna work. If it gets cloudy like this, it means that it's almost ready. Now we're gonna turn off the heat and then cool it down. Let's cut the vegetables that goes in cabbage kimchi. This is Korean chive. If you don't have this, you can substitute to a green onion. Cut in two inch size. Then onion. Thinly sliced. We're going to mince a little bit of ginger. Next, a few cloves of garlic. Let's just put this together, ginger and garlic. The cabbage has been brined for the last 30 minutes. I wanna check how it looks like. So, okay, let's put back this stone pot on the top of the cabbage. Another 30 minutes. Let's check. So the cabbage shrink to about two thirds. So we wanna rinse in cold water. This is sort of porridge that we made with all-purpose flour and water. Just pour 
this to the bowl. So in here, we wanna first add chili flakes. And then sugar, using fish sauce, garlic and ginger. Combine all together. So far, everything looks perfect. So the cabbage has been brined and then rinsed in cold water and then drained. Make sure they're completely drained. We want to put this back to the bowl and then add the sauce over the cabbage. And then mix them. Let's make sure it's all well mixed. And then we're gonna add the chive and the onion to it. Again, make sure everything is well combined. It's finished now, so we want to put in a container. I'm going to put in a room temperature uh, for about two hours and then it goes of course in a refrigerator. Actually, this one I made three days ago. So this kimchi, as you can see, you can put in a jar like this. And of course you can you know, share with your neighbor or friend who likes Korean food. This type of kimchi, I recommend to consume in 10 days. Thank you for watching my video. See you again, bye bye.